So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, what I call a diagram question, we obviously have a table here. Um, looks like we have different types of trees, red maple, chestnut oak, and two different sites, site A, site B. And I'm assuming these are the numbers of those different types of trees in each site. And then some total values, right? Some totals there, some totals there, and overall total. So let's look at the question. The table shows the distribution of two types of trees at two different sites. If a red maple represented in the table is selected at random. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about that. How many red maples do we have? We have a total, let me just get rid of all this, all these marks. We have a total of 90 red maple trees, right? 63 of them are in site A and 27 of them are in site B. So now the question again says, if a red maple represented in the table is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a tree from site A? All right, so if all I'm selecting from is red maple, right? Chestnut oak are not a part of this question at all. I only care about red maple. Um, also, this term probability, I want you to get very comfortable with translating the word. Every time you see the word probability on this test, you're going to have a fraction. The numerator is what you want. So I'll just write want here, but it's what you want. And the denominator is what you're choosing from, right? So I'll say total, but basically it's what you're choosing from. So what do we want? We want a red maple from site A. There are 63 of those. So my numerator would be 63 for what I want. What am I choosing from? Well, I'm choosing from all the red maples. There are 90 total red maples. So that's what I put here. Now, the note here says express your answer as a decimal or a fraction, not as a percent. So we have 63 divided by 90. We can definitely reduce 63 divided by 90. But let's just make it a fraction. This is the calculator section. I'm going to just throw it into my calculator instead of having to figure out how to reduce that fraction. And what I get is that this is equal to 0 0.7, and therefore 0 0.7 is the correct answer.